astomated. Figure below is a pavement system with a resilient moduli, layer coefficient, and drainage coefficient as shown. If predicted, ESAL equals to 18.6 into 10 power 6, reliability 95 percentage, standard deviation 0 0.35, and change in present serviceability index equals 2.1, then select thickness D1, D2, D3. And in this case, we have to determine the depth of wearing course, base course, and sub base course. If the layer coefficient for a base course and sub base course is not given, then ASTO method gives the empirical relation to determine the layer coefficient for the base course and sub base course. Now, design parameters. First, we determine the structural number 1, structural number 2, and structural number 3 from equation for the given design parameters reliably 95%, standard deviation 0 0.35, design traffic 18.6 into 10 power 6, ESAL, and delta PSI 2.1. Using E2 as MR, we determine the structural number SN1. Similarly, using E3 as MR, we determine the structural number SN2. And based on road base, road bed soil resilient modulus MR, we determine the structural number SN3. Now calculation of D1, that is the depth of wearing course. In this case, we use the modulus of resilient E2 of base course, that is 250000 PSI. And we have the equation for the astro method. This is the equation for the astro method to determine the structural number SN1. Here we have W18 equals to design traffic equals to 18.6 in 10 power 6 and the reliability 95 percentage. And for the standard deviations, ZR equals to minus 1.645 that is taken from the table. And the standard deviation 0.35. Delta PSI equals 2.1 and putting this value in that equation we get the equation and solving this equation we get the structural number SN1 equals to 1.420 Determination of surface thickness that is a D1 equals to structural number SN1 divided by A1 and is calculated as 3.944 inch that is the depth of or thickness of wearing course is determined as 3.944 inch. Similarly calculation of D2 that is the base course thickness we use the modulus of resilience of sub base course that is a 1 0 0 0 0 0 psi then the equation for the astrometer and in and input different parameters design parameters in that equation we can solve the equation and on solving this equation we determine the structural number SN2 equals to 2.0359 the determination of base course thickness that is a D2 equals to structural number SN2 minus A1 into D1 divided by A2 into M M2 and is calculated as 4.278 inch this is the depth of base course 4.278 the calculation of d3 that is the base sub base course thickness for the determination of sub base course thickness we use the mr of the broad bed metal that is the sub grade psi that is a 5000 psi and so in this case also we use the astro equation and inputting the different design parameters in that equation we solve the equation and we determine the structural number SN3 as 5.377 using structural numbers SN3 we determine the base course sub base course thickness from the equation D3 equal to SN3 minus A1 D1 minus A2 D2 M2 divided by A3 M3 and is determined and calculated as 
0.80 inch this is the depth of surface course thickness now finally final pavement thickness and this is the and d1 d2 d3 is the thickness of surface course base course surface course is determined as 3.944 inch 4.27 inch and 34.80 inch respectively in this way we can determine the thickness of pavement by using astro equation if you like this tutorial solution please like share and subscribe my channel for the more lecture solution and tutorial thank you